Hi, I'm Griffin Moore, School Year Abroad Spain's resident director, and the lead introduction into what you will see over a series of videos, the expansion of our new school to this new site. It doesn't look new yet, but you will see in these new videos, it is. Once upon a time, in 1964, a Spanish teacher named Angel Belalta received a proposal from some U.S. teachers to receive a small group of American students in Barcelona to study another language and culture, to cross political borders, and to expand the geographical boundaries of some young Americans' minds and hearts. Schoolboys abroad had been born. Over the years, the school changed. The number of students rose. The student body grew more diverse. They traveled by plane rather than by boat. And most importantly, they came to a country that had become a democracy. The school's basic mission did not change when, after a long and difficult decision, in 1998, the school moved to Zaragoza, renting a floor in the city center where students could enjoy, every day, this living city. And now, thanks as always to the generosity of its alumni and families, the program will be rooted forever in Spain when it moves to its own space in one of the most emblematic sites of the city, about which we will talk more later. Getting here has taken many, many steps. In fact, uh, it began as a theoretical idea on the heels of the purchase of SYA France. Now that we have the opportunity in Spain to purchase our own property, a place we would call home, it was not meant to be in the place we're in. We can't stay there. There's not enough room. So it means discovering someplace new and, and bring together in this new property the same advantages we've enjoyed both in Barcelona and in Zaragoza. Once we were given permission from the board to begin looking for a property to purchase, a facilities committee was formed as a, an adjunct to the board and a teacher and I, working with the rest of the faculty, began communicating with the board and that committee the prospects we, we thought were opportune. This property kept emerging as the leading contender and because of its uh, central location, its many advantages, both logistic and architectural, we thought this would be the property we'd want to buy. Uh, the board then moved forward with the campaign for Spain and began soliciting interest from former families and former students. Once we purchased the property in March, with the blessing and the support of the facilities committee and the board, uh, we procured all kinds of permissions an architect, and we are soon to have the contractors to turn the property into its new look. That should be by April of next year that we move in. Where I'm standing right now is both physical and metaphysical. I'm standing in the middle of our property that if we look in 360 degrees, we see tremendous potential. But that potential will take time. Probably in the next four months, this property will be turned into a magnificent school. As we're standing at the end of its 46 years, we move forward to the next 46 in a property that is going to be gorgeous. Today, we apologize. The groundswell that this the building has produced, not just the communications with our extended community, but the feeling among the faculty and the students is vibrant, exciting, uh, anxious. They're, they've already come by and they want to come back. We can't wait for it to finish. So much of what we do at SY Spain is cultural, intellectual, academic, that's not easy for our extended community to understand or to connect to, 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 to feel that they're part of. But this building is. This building has lots to it. You can come visit it, see it. It puts our feet on the ground here in Saragossa. It puts our roots in Spain. This is it. This is where we'll be for the next 46 years. And it's a beautiful setting with lots of potential. I know our, our extended community wants to be part of it.